Shares of Citi are lower today after the bank announced profitability will fall as the company pursues a strategy shift to raise expenses in the near term. Let's bring in Bloomberg's Wall Street correspondent Shanali Basic to tell us about it's really an important milestone, you know, beyond the profitability and expenses for the CEO, Jane Fraser, uh, in her role as the lead at Citigroup. Yeah, it's a really huge moment, really. And I remember the same moment when we had it over at Goldman Sachs just a couple of years ago for David Solomon. It takes a couple of years for investors to get on board with a new story and say the profitability targets are enough. The difficult thing about Citigroup is they're still dealing with regulatory issues, a consent order here. And this idea that they are going to spend more money really is supposed to be an indication that Jane Fraser is saying that I'm not just going to cut out of businesses here. I also want to be more competitive and spend money in other areas so that we can gain share in the businesses that make us good at what we do. Now remember, Matt, Citigroup right now is the only one of the major banks that are trading below their book value. Mm. And so the next year is going to be a very critical year for Citigroup to show they can not just shrink, but they can grow. I was going to say they've drastically underperformed. Um, I did want to throw up City against SoFi to see that even that company stock has done better, and they've had a rough time of it. I mean, it depends on how you look at it. So SoFi has fallen a lot this year, but it's doing very, very well today after a record year last mm. year under Anthony Noto. Remember, this is a lot about spending on marketing, but marketing more efficiently, making more per customer. The SoFi Stadium and actually viral influencers is what he told me really Ooh. helped. So you can talk to him about that.